Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back this week with another video. And just right off the bat, I do want to apologize for being gone for so long. It was not my intention. This time I don't have an excuse. But what I will say, I did get a style on my eye and I just wanted to refrain from using any makeup or wearing my contacts and stuff like that. So that kind of kept me off the camera and a style is not cute. So I was just like... Today I was going to film a haul video for you guys, but all my stuff hasn't got here yet. I've just ordered so much makeup over the course of the holiday weekend. You know, it was just so many good sales that I could not pass up. So, um, I ordered a lot of stuff. My last package is going to get here Friday. So that video will be up on Saturday. I plan on filming Friday unless I go out with my friends for their, for her birthday. Um, but I don't know. We don't have any final plans yet. So. I may be able to just to film that whole video for you guys and head out the door, edit it on Saturday and put it back up. So for today, we're going to do uh, how I cleared up my acne slash my skincare routine. I just want to sit down and talk to you about all the products. I know it's one thing to show you how I put them in order, but um, I have switched out some things since the last video you guys have seen. And um, I just want to tell you what they are, how I added them into my skincare routine, and what a difference is made in my skincare personally. However, before we head right into this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's head right into this video. Let me turn my phone on Do Not Disturb because people love to call me and text me when I'm filming. Nobody likes to talk to me when I'm not filming. Okay, first things first, before I get into this video, I mean, I know I should say drink plenty of water, but I don't drink plenty of water. I plan to start drinking plenty of water. Um, so I just don't want to falsify that and tell you guys like, oh, I drink so much water because I really don't, even though I should, I just don't. And I don't want to start off the video with lying because that's not what I do. I just had two sodas yesterday. So I'm just saying. The first thing I start off my skincare with is this Purity um, Made Simple One Set Facial Cleanser. I do really like this cleanser. I've been using it since December. You guys saw it in my skincare routine. It's just a really gentle, mild cleanser. I really like it. I find out whenever my face is very sensitive or like breaking out or like just, I don't really know how to explain it. Like just overwhelmed, I guess, with product. This is just so good to put on top of it and wash my face away. My face does not burn. It does not sting. It's just a good cleanser. And I really do like it for that reason um, alone. It keeps me from breaking out. I don't break out as much as since I started using this um, cleanser. I don't really have severe acne. I have acne, you know, here and there, breakouts and stuff like that. But, um... This is super good for a cleanser, especially if you want something mild and sensitive. I know a lot of people have sensitive skin, and I think it's perfect. I don't care what type of skin type you have, oily, combination, normal, dry. This is just a really good cleanser in general, and I think it's so worth it, and I do enjoy using this cleanser. After a cleanser, I do go in with toner. Um, and this is a new toner that I've just started using because I can tell there's such a difference in my skin since using this. This is the Murad, Murad Hydrating Toner, rebalances, rehydrates, and gently purifies skin, restores pH balance, and neutralizes surface impurities. And I think that's really true. Like I, since using this, I haven't even been breaking out as much as I used to. I feel like my face is not super oily it's not super dry like I feel like it's giving my face an overall like I don't know neutralness like I just feel normal like I don't feel oily I don't feel dry like and at one point I was feeling dry so that's why I got this hydrating toner because I'm like what is going on my t-zone is so oily but the rest of my face is dry so I've been using this and I love it so much and I love that it's like in a spray bottle so that you can spray it all over your face I feel that sometimes when you use toners and you use pads and stuff like that you can put too much and you don't really know but when you do a mist all over your face like you put the right amount of mist unless you go on and spritz it forever then I mean I guess 
will have some type of negative impact but i really do like this hydrating toner i like the way it smells it's just so good and i feel like these two together it's like a match made in heaven and i feel like both of these no matter your skin type are like really good together because i feel like they're neutral things and the next thing that I use in my skincare routine is serum and I've been using the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightning Serum. This stuff is like a little magic in the bottle. Like I never thought I had hyperpigmentation or anything like that but overall my skin is just like super, I don't want to say glowy. I mean it is glowy but it's just like super, it's all one color. Like and I never thought that I had hyperpigmentation, but I feel like hyperpigmentation is really common in African American women. So since using this, I just feel like my skin complexion has been one color. The only thing that I do think, I mean, this does not help with like acne spots or anything like that. And the thing about this serum is you're only supposed to use this for like um, two months and then after that I give it a break because it has really um powerful strong chemicals in it well not chemicals but ingredients in it that um you shouldn't use for a long time i love it like my skin has cleared up i even told my stepmom that she should try using this serum because it's not like an age thing like i feel like anybody from their 20s until 50s or 60s whatever can use this because it also is a rapid age spot treatment um i'm not aging but it's always good to prevent any aging things from occurring because one day i will get old preventing anything from like aging spots and stuff like that it's very important and essential to my skincare so um i definitely do like this i just have to find a replacement serum for i guess the next few months to see like um to give it a break because I don't want to overdo it. Um, I definitely want to use a serum that's going to treat like my acne and stuff like that. I have been looking into some products recently, so um, hopefully those products work out. I'll always update you on any new products that I try. And then after serum, I don't go in with moisturizer. I go in with this Mario B. Dustin skincare. Like you guys saw in my favorite video, I had this in here and like look at where it's at. I'm like at a half bottle now. Like this is so crazy. Like, I use it all the time. I love it. It's just such a refreshing, like, look, I'm going to spray it down. It just smells so good. Like, it's so bomb. Like, I need to keep one of these in my purse at all times, especially when I'm wearing a no makeup day. Like, I just feel like this is essential to my skincare routine. Um, but if you didn't watch the favorites video, let me introduce this. This is the Mario Budescent Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. Like I previously mentioned, I do have the other Mario Budescent Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. Myself, personally, I just like this one more. I use this. I leave this on my makeup vanity if I ever need like a spritzer to refresh my skin. But this one is definitely in my skincare and I do something I want to keep in my purse. The directions, before I was using this, I was using it. After my moisturizer, and you're actually supposed to use it before, it says, mist onto face and neck as needed. Use before moisturizer throughout the day or as a final step in your makeup process. So I didn't know that. So I have been switching that out and been using it before my moisturizer. Do I see a huge difference? I don't know, but I do like to follow directions. So if it says use it for moisturizer, I do that. The only thing that sucks is I have to wait for it to dry and set in before I can go into my moisturizer. So I usually just do things around the house and keep it moving with that. Next, and the final step in my skincare process is this L'Oreal Hydrogenous oh, Daily Moisturizer. You use every morning and night after cleanser and smooth off your face. Um, I heard this from a beauty blogger who really raves about it. I want to just put a little bit of it on the back of my hand. Like you see the little dot and like show you how like watery it is. It's just like it melts into the skin. And as an oily girl, I mean, I feel like my skincare has changed now, but I don't like to put too much, you know, see how my face is like way more hydrated, but it's not oily or anything like that. Like you can see, like it's just gives it a glow. Um, it doesn't 
make my makeup slide. Um, I find that with certain moisturizer, if I put too much of it, my makeup can slide which or which way on my face. My makeup won't stay throughout the day. And I feel like once this dries down, I'll show you guys at the end of the video, like, well, now even, it's not even, you know, it's dry. Like, you can't even feel it. It just soaks into the skin. And I think that's really important for oily girls. Like, I feel like you should always get a gel um, type of base moisturizer because that's going to be most beneficial to you um they also i believe they have it for like dry skin and normal skin so definitely look out for this if that's your skincare um i've only been using this for like a month and i feel like i use this a lot but i only have a little bit but i was using a different moisturizer at nighttime i won't mention what it is it wasn't that great for me personally i feel like it did give me a glow but i don't want something just to give me a glow and not benefit my face you know what i mean so um this was definitely something i have been enjoying and i use it in the morning of course but i think i'm going to switch to start using it at night until i found a nighttime moisturizer but this is definitely great next i'm going to mention some skincare products i mean skincare products this is a skincare video next i want to mention some treatments the first thing as a treatment that i want to mention is the kate summersville um, exfoliant. It's an intense exfoliating treatment. I think I really do like this. I like the concept of it. I think it's a little pricey, but I think it's a great exfoliator. Um, once I'm done, I feel like a smoothness over my face. I feel like if you don't exfoliate, I think that's how people, you know, generally build up texture into their skin and stuff like that. So I do like to add an exfoliant and this is really great. You put it on for like you with water, you mix it in and you put it all over your face with a thin layer, leave it on for two minutes and then you wash it off and then proceed to the next thing in your skincare. So I would use my cleanser first, then I would use this and then follow up my toner and then the rest of my skincare routine. Now there's a couple products I want to mention are these sheet masks. I think sheet masks are really good for giving you the type of nutrients and um, I want to say nutrients and vitamins that you're not getting in your day-to-day -day skincare routine. Um, this one is the Sephora Orchard Mask. I've used this once before. This is really good for like, um, anti-aging and smoothing. Like I said, recently I've been getting te texture into my skin. So I just want to do anything I can to prevent any texture. So my makeup can lay flat as possible. And as far as not even doing my makeup that my makeup just looks really good i also really like the pearl one of these from sephora um that's for smooth i think it's for smoothing and brightening but it's definitely for brightening i don't know what the other thing is for but that's really great and these are only like five or six dollars so they're very affordable if you want something a little bit pricier i mean this one is 750 not too much pricier like 250 more but i mean at 250 can add up when you buy a couple of these um this is a karuna Corona, Corona, brightening face mask. Um, I love this. My boyfriend brought this for me. I told him I've been thinking about it and he brought it for me. And just the next day when I woke up, my skin just looks very bright. And, you know, this was around the time I was using a rapid skincare um, product. And this does brighten my face, but this just gave me a different type of brightness and I think that you need to be consistent with certain products like these I mean I don't think you should put a face mask on every day if you want to go ahead I don't think it's it'll hurt your skincare at all but I do think at least like twice a week you should do that and pamper yourself and you know just relax and pick a mask that you've seen throughout the day or the week that your skin is really lacking in the area if my face is has a lot of texture which it doesn't right now that I want to pick this I would pick the brightening one because I'm really suffering from <laughs> the spots from my acne so that would help with that of course let me know guys if you want to see a typical papering routine for myself I don't mind doing it it's a lot of work but if you guys want to see it I'll definitely do it for you guys like you guys know I'll do anything for you and then lastly before I end this video I do want to talk about my facial steamer I got this from um Amazon it's really easy you put the water in this part you gotta of course do it upside down you put the water in then you turn the power switch on and then um I think for like a minute or so it boils and gets the steam ready and it's 
I feel like it shaved my skincare routine. I mean, I don't think it's necessary for everybody to have a facial steamer, but I do like to do it. It's a, I like to do it when I do my camper routine because at that point, with a steamer and my face wipes, I mean, not my face wipes, my face masks, I feel like they soak up more of the product because my pores are open and they're just drinking up all, you know, the serum out of my face mask. And I really do like a facial steamer. This one is not even expensive one. I think I spent like $10 or $15 on it and I love it. I stopped breaking out again a lot after using the facial steamer because I just feel like it opens your pores and once you do your skincare routine, it just drinks up more of the product and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not an esthetician or anything like that. I'm just saying from my experience with these products and I've just done things that I thought would be beneficial to my face and I can say that I've came a wrong way with my face like I'm gonna show on like this side but this is what my face looks on this side it's pretty clear I don't have any breakouts right now surprisingly um oh I have one more thing too I cannot believe I almost forgot it oh my gosh where is it okay guys this is the last and final product that I want to mention I feel like this video is so long but I feel like it's also very informative so bear with me um I wanted to also mention the Mira Acme Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment whenever it's my time of the month or around that cycle period I break out and it's just something that I feel like either I'll grow out of but right now there's like no product that I can really like try to like they should not not come but with this it helps me to get around those breakouts um whenever i break out where i feel a pimple you know when you can feel something a pimple and it's just it hurts and it, you know your skin is just like what's really going on um i'll put this on you are supposed to use it um a couple times a day i would recommend three to four times a day it's hard for me to do that sometimes though because i do wear makeup but if i get my period or cycle around the weekend time or days where I'm not going to be off, where I'm going to be off from work, it's perfect for that. And I usually get my cycle, I mean, breakouts before my period. So like, um, I want to say a couple of days before, like two to three days before. Um, and I know that they're coming. So using this would be so beneficial whenever I feel it coming on. I just take a little bit and apply it to the spot and it just helps me to stop myself from popping pimples and stuff like that. You never want to do that. It leaves scars. And I popped a few, and that's why I have scars. So I'm really working on that to get those scars gone. But this is definitely something if you don't want to pop your zits and they come up, use this. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys all got some informative tips about um, what I use for my skincare and how I've achieved um my skin i get so many compliments on my skincare i mean not my skincare on my skin on a daily basis so you know i feel like i get more compliments now than ever before and i feel like this was a good time to really tell you guys like what i'm using and what am i doing to keep clear radiant glowing skin because those are my skincare goals whenever i go and get a facial like that's what i tell the esthetician i also think facials are very helpful if you're trying to get clear skin i would recommend doing them once a month but if you can't do that i completely understand i feel like the home tips that i taught you about using like a facial steamer and some facial masks is perfect and it can do the trick i definitely recommend trying some of these products do you need them all no i feel like with time you'll build up your skincare regimen i do think that a facial cleanser a toner a serum and moisturizer are the basic things that you need to have a skincare routine if you're starting off and you don't have enough money to get serums because serums are really expensive facial cleanser toner and moisturizer should do you just fine serums are more like a treatment and um if you have some severe you know skin issues that you want to deal with that's where a serum will come in handy but like i said you don't need all these products you have to customize your skincare routine to your person not your personality your skincare profile I'm definitely look into some of these products so if they i mentioned some issues that i've been having and how i use these products to treat them but as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe i love you guys bye guys